Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Molly here and I am quickly going to do, well not quickly, but I'm going to go do my April 2023 monthly overview like I usually do for my life. So I usually go through my goals fairly quickly um, and then things that happen and also to like entertainment and my if I have a favorite thing that month too. Um, stuff like that like what's been going on in my life so i don't know i just find these fun to do because hopefully like in a year or two i can look back on the videos and be like hey and then i'll still maybe if you guys leave a comment down below we can start chatting and hopefully you guys can get to know me i can get to know you so yeah so let's um get started like we usually do so i usually talk about my goals first so i did not cook anything new again this month of April, everything, my weekends were just like too crazy. I usually try to cook something new on the weekends if I can possibly. Um, that way I have more time in case anything goes wrong. Um, and it just did not happen. But I did try two new things this month, guys. Um, so the first thing is I actually tried Panda Express for the first time. I got an orange um, chicken bowl with fried rice and um, fried rice, and it was so good. So, or if you don't know, P Panda Express is far away, about like half an hour away from me. So it's not like the easiest and convenient place to go. So I was in town one time, closer to it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try it because. Yeah, so I tried it and it was really yummy. And then, also too, just yesterday, um, when I went to my cousin's bridal shower, I actually decided to try a cucumber sandwich. And I actually really liked it. And <laughs> the funny thing is, I felt like I was in like a um, Japanese or anime, you know, like vlog, Japanese vlog or like an anime, just eating it. I don't know. I just found it was cute and fun because I always see these like in either animes or Japanese vlogs. So I watch it. It was refreshing and I actually really liked it. Um, so yeah, I decided to try it because like I said, I always see them in vlogs and in anime. So I'm like, I'm going to try it. And it was there, it was free, so I'm like, I'm just gonna try it. And I did, and I liked it. <laughs> so we kind of worked on that goal, but did not. <laughs> um, and then, so for my health, my fitness, I did exercise 11 times this month, which is pretty good. Um, a lot of this time, I was like busy Monday through Wednesday trying to get things done and then Thursday, Friday and like Sunday I would exercise. Um, intentionally I was trying to plan this time for some, it was just like different. Like I was trying to plan it throughout the week and it actually worked pretty well. Um, and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to be able to exercise on Sunday so I'm going to do it Friday kind of thing or like I won't be able to do it Wednesday so we're going to do it Thursday type thing. So that actually worked out. I might keep trying that and exercising this month was pretty good because I was able to go for a walk here where I live. It's actually springtime and it is getting really nice out on throughout the week. So, um, 60s to 50s. So that's pretty good walking weather to me. Um, so and it's just nice like, to get the fresh air and just go for a walk. So, um, yeah, let's talk about, um, I guess my life updates, which is pretty cool. So yesterday I went to my cousin's bridal shower, which was very fun. I'm very excited for her. And then, um, beginning of the Actually, it was more so in the middle of the month. I actually saw how my cousin, not my cousin, my uncle's cover, Beatles cover band, and they were really good. I actually really enjoyed it. Um, I don't know too many Beatles songs. They did not play the ones that I do know, but it was just fun seeing my Uncle Jim with his bandmates, and just, it was actually a really, really nice day out. It was 70, and it was at a local brewery, so it was just fun, and I did support a small business going to that brewery and ordering food from a food cart. Um, so yeah, I ordered a pretz couple pretzels with um, warm beer cheese and it was so good too, and a Coke. So <laughs> yeah, I had fun just eating and being with my aunt as my uncle played and just seeing him have bud and you know, doing his thing. So it was just fun to listen to it and just, it was for like two hours. So I'm like, I can 
you know, have some fun for two hours, get out of the house because I do need to socialize a lot. I'm an introvert and I don't really go out on the weekend. So when it's like a long holiday, I usually just stay in. I've been trying to go out a little more as much as I can. So yeah, I did see my uncle's cover band. He invited me to Facebook and I actually had fun. And then also too, um, we did do some financial damage. Um, it's not worth going to the outlet. So with my two best friends, I finally spent about $200, which isn't bad because I did buy three new shirts. I'm going to return some sandals at the loft. So I got three shirts and sandals at the loft, which I do love the loft. They have like more professional clothing that I'm looking for. And that's why I usually go twice a year to the outlets. Um, two or three, three max usually. I try not to go too much. But like when I'm done cleaning up my closet each year, um, every six months, I just go just afterwards I see how many things I need, if I need anything. And yeah, I usually just go to the outlets then and we did some financial damage. But it wasn't as much. Like I said, I got three shirts, which one is a um, orange and white stripe. So I'm like, oh, I found Nemo. But <laughs> I don't know, Disney bounding. Yeah, it was fun. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to return the sandals because I do not like them. It was more so like an I need this purchase just in case type purchase because I need something to wear from my cousin's bridal shop, but I did eventually get some sandals at Kohl's, um, so I'm going to return those sandals whenever I can and hopefully get my money back from them. I'm just not going to wear them and I'd rather give my money back and they're good, but like I said, I'm just not going to wear them, so, um, and then I did some shopping at Bath and Body Works. I got two candles um, because I'm running low on candles. So it was time to stock up on candles too. So we got two candles, which they smell very good. Um, so I'm excited to stop running them whenever it's time. And um, that was really about it for this month. Um, for like life update. Oh, and I got my second cat scan, which if you guys have not seen the vlog, um, there's a vlog for it, which also too for this channel, I want to try to do one new video type video each month maybe, or like twice, depending on what I can do, um, because I, I don't know, I just think it's a good idea, um, just try to get out of your comfort zone for videos, I feel like I always post the same things, the swag box update for the month, my monthly update, so, um, and I am trying to, in the background, I'm trying to plan things, like I do have a video in mind, and I'm so excited for the video, because it just, yeah, <laughs> the nostalgia, you guys will see, the nostalgia, okay, and I'll talk a little bit in a minute too, so, um, yeah, so, I, that's one goal that I want to do in May is kind of get out of my comfort zone. Um, so I am excited to keep trying different videos and coming up with new ideas for you guys. Um, and then we'll go do some entertainment, so which I'm excited for. Um, I'm still watching Parenthood, which has been very good. Um, and then I finished Spy fam X Family or Spy Family, and oh my god, I love it! The chaos, I cannot wait for season two. It is so good. If you guys have not watched Spy X Family and you want to get into anime, this is a really good anime to get into because it is adorable but also fun to watch and just interesting as well. Um, so I highly suggest Spy X Family, it is so good. And I, I don't know if I'm, de I'm debating to be the manga or not. So feel free to leave a comment down below if I should read the manga. I'm definitely waiting for season 2 in the fall, winter. I'm very excited for it. If it's not dubbed, I'm definitely going to watch it in sub most likely because I am just excited for it. And I am here for it. And then also too, last night, Digimon Try. Guys, I just finished all of the Digimon Try movies, um, or sections, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you would call it. Um, I'll call them movies, and oh my god, guys, the nostalgia for me. <laughs> if you don't know, which you probably do because I post a lot of Pokemon um, content too at times, I was born in the 90s. Digimon and Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! were huge in the 90s. Um, 
And yeah, so I grew up with Digimon and it's just crazy how time just flew by and it was just so much fun to get back into the old characters that I grew up with and I'm just so excited for the next part because they had the Davis team coming in in like the fall this year and I'm just so excited. Uh, that was my second favorite season. The first season obviously is my favorite. The second season so good as well. I can't wait to see Davis King, Cody, and Yoli, I believe is how you say her name again. And I'm just so excited, especially to with Digimon Try left off. I have so many questions, guys. <laughs> I need answers. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I am very excited for the fall to watch that. If it's not dubbed, I'm definitely watching it and sub because I need to watch it. And um, for video games, I guess we can go to next because um, that was my next section that I wrote. Um, so I am very excited to keep playing Disney Speedstorm Racing. Um, it has been very fun. It's not what I thought it was going to be and there will be a video as I keep going on. Um, but yeah, it's actually pretty good though too. And, and I'm just trying to again get through Hogwarts Legacy and Pokemon Scarlet as well because I, I'm literally halfway done Pokemon Scarlet guys. I literally just throwing everything off on my checklist that I have on my phone for the perfect way to play Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and I'm literally halfway through if not like three fourths through so I need to get that done especially to um they announced that there's gonna be an extension pack and I believe like the late summer fall and then and the like winter spring next year too so there's gonna be two sections um for expansion pack so that's exciting as well we'll get more pokemon content but yeah <laughs> just trying to finish up those games and also too i did finish um essentialism the nonfiction that i was reading i had like 20 pages um over the last weekend to finish them like i'm just gonna finish it last sunday and i finished it and it was good but I don't know if I'll keep it or not. That might be a donate back pile because I did get it at a local Goodwill. And that's where I usually get my nonfiction is a local Goodwill um, or a thrift store because it's just more practical for me for nonfiction because I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So if I see a nonfiction book that is like recommended um, through YouTube, um, like YouTube is like Ali Abdal. I will put it on my wish list and if I see it at Goodwill or like my local thrift store, I will grab it, get it, and then put it on my bookshelf. So I'm not spending as much money either because like I said, I don't know if I'm going to like it or not. So why spend money on nonfiction? So I, there's like three biographies I'm going to buy with my own money. Well, not my own money, but with my money. I am going, I want to, right now I have Tom Felton's biography, autobiography, which I'm definitely, I'm on reading right now. Um, and then Matthew Perry's autobiography and Jeanette McCurdy's autobiography. Those are like nonfiction books that I'm going to buy. Um, and too, like if there's another YouTuber that has a book, like Ali Abdul, if, if and when he comes out with a book, I'll probably buy it, depending if it's fiction, nonfiction, you know what I mean? Well, I shall buy it eventually, buy it anyways, but yeah, you get the drill. So I usually buy my nonfiction through like my local Goodwill or through a thrift store. So... Oh yeah, so I, <laughs> we got like three books done this year. I am still on um, Chain of Thorns, which has been a big conquer, but I'm getting there. I'm like a halfway done. Uh, so we'll hopefully move on to more fiction soon too. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, it was, I can't believe April has gone by. And actually, as I am... Filming this, it is April 30th, and tomorrow, it's gonna be me. Yeah, sorry I had to do that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so, I, you know, it just flew by April, like, which, I don't know. Because of my allergies, I'm like, spring could just fly by. Spring is my least favorite season. Fall, I am your fall girl. As I call myself the basic white girl because <laughs> I just love pumpkin spice and go with the pumpkin patches and watching Hocus Pocus. So fall is like my lip-in season. And then so I'm beginning into summer lately. And then winter, I 
Mm, I do like two big snowstorms in wintertime. I live in New England, so I do like, you know, one or two big snowstorms where everyone can anticipate it and just stay in and be cozy. Um, but yeah, spring is just my least, so it's just been crazy though how fast April went. I don't know about you guys if your April went fast or not, but mine did. So, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment down below your favorite memory that happened in April. Or something fun that happened in April that you guys um, did. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends!